Hello everyone, this is Valkyrie here, you can just call me Valk, and today I'm going to help you make more stunning morphs with my secret tips. I have made many praised morphs in my time, and I have a lot of tips and secrets to share. This is a part 2 of my Morph Making Secrets video, so please check that out if you're interested in more like this. Other than that, let's get started. Tip 1. References and Inspiration One very important tip that most expert morph makers follow is to use references. References are amazing and incredibly helpful, especially when you forget some parts of your cat. Realistic cat references or other animal references are great. Not only do they provide you something to base your morph off, but they can inspire you. Occasionally, I get inspired by characters, birds, animals, and the foods I see. This results in me making fantastic morphs and characters that I enjoy playing as. However, referencing and inspiration is not copying. If you get inspired by someone's morph in game or out of game, do not copy it. Tip 2. Marking Combinations Often the best morphs have great marking combinations that help shade or fade the body. Markings are also good for colouring specific parts of the body so your character is more unique. Popular marking combinations include the back stripe, cape, body stripe, face mask or dual mask and a tail stripe together. Another are rosettes with a sock colouring, face flex and a face mask. Another gorgeous third option that I like to use is braided stripes, face stripes or charcoal marks with the zebra fade trick and brindle. Markings not only change the appearance of your character but are also useful when it comes to face shading. Eye marks Below eye markings, round eye markings, nostrils, tear marks, muscle pads and whisker pads are very good at detailing faces and shading them. If you darken the under eye markings, your character could look tired. Or if you darken the above eye markings, they could look more serious. And darkening or lightening parts of the muzzle can show depth to the face. Overall, marking combinations are effective. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe. It helps my motivation so much. Did you know only 10% of people who watch my videos subscribe? Are you one of the rare 10%? Tip 3. The Game Pass Lie I will say it once and I will not say it again. Game Passes don't make a gorgeous morph. Unless you're excessive with your accessories so that it completely changes the look of your morphs, it doesn't matter. Game passes are just the cherry on top of a cake. It doesn't have to complete the cake itself. This whole game pass thing is a misconception, a clever marketing trick. Do you really need a cute flower on your cat's head? No! I have seen many gorgeous morphs which have no game passes at all. The fades and level of detail that some people put onto their morphs is outstanding. Don't think for once your morphs suck without game passes. Tip 4. Bias and Trends Like fashion, Warrior Ultimate Edition gets waves of new morph trends. I think currently bi colour fades are popular. I've seen a lot of orange to blue or purple blue to brown fades or whatever going on. Maybe some sandy yellow to peach pink. There's a lot of morph bias and controversy in Warrior Ultimate Edition and some people may like one type of morph and hate another. It's just how fashion works. My point is, you don't need people giving you loads of comments or anything for your morph to be good. People have opinions. Even what I'm saying to you could be an opinion right now. Morphs are an entirely opinionated subject, and like a lot of things, opinions change over time. Perhaps one day your morph could be its own fashion statement. 
What I love about fashion trends though, is that they make you try new things. Try new things is always embraced. You may make something you like. And that's all I have for today. I hope this helped you create stunning morphs and to improve your skills. I highly recommend experimenting with morphs and try the tips I give you. Also, thanks for the 6k and the amount of views my last video got. Have a great day or night.